Il satiro, Satyrs come from the Greek Roman classic mythology. They are half man, half goat. Half man, half animal, because they bear within themselves the lowest instincts of humans. The satyr needs to be educated. He doesn't live in the social environment of a city. He lives in the woods, in the Arcadian forest. He is an animal and his strongest instinct is to find someone lost in the woods, a nymph, a young girl, or even a young boy to seduce, to approach in a sexual and erotic way. Therefore, the satyr represents disorder, chaos, bad behavior. He is out of line. The satyr is the devil. When the Christians created their mythology, they needed, as with any faith, someone to represent evil. And who else, if not the satyr? It's hard to represent something that doesn't exist. One always has to use something that's already been used before, perhaps adding something new to it. So they chose the satyr and they gave him the wings of a bat, a nocturnal animal that came to replace the wings of the fallen angel, and the satyr turned into the devil. The devil is nothing but half man, half goat, with wings. And as a goat he bears his small horns and his pointy ears. The figure of the satyr is extremely important in the history of masks, because it is the very first mask in the Christian tradition, so important in the whole Western world in the Middle Ages, to be used in the sacred performances to represent the devil, the evil, the loser. Believe it or not, they really needed a mask. So the satyr is the first mask ever used and the first ever documented, from which the Zanis originated. These are profane carnival devils, which then became Arlecchino, Pulcinella and Pantalone. Those characters gave birth in Venice to the Commedia dell'arte, which is the first civic and secular theatre that emerged in the Western world after the classic era. Commedia dell'arte, where art is for craft and commedia is for laughter. So from the tragedy and the classic plays, the commedia was born in Venice. A comedy of laughter and the pleasure of entertainment, which was the foundation of modern theatre as we know it.